And I want you guys to understand a little bit about where we're headed. I'm not sure who's ever heard of the term deep fake or knows what it is, but the future is actually a little bit scary if you look at where we're headed, right? It's easy to manipulate a photograph or even just change a quote. We know that people have been doing that for, for, for actually a very long time. The Loch Ness Monster photograph in the early 1900s was, was fake news, right? That was, that was actually a fake photograph. Um, but technology is allowing us to manipulate video content in a really disturbing way, right? I'm going to show you guys a little video here. Um, and it's, well, I'll just let the video speak for itself. Let's take a few seconds and watch this clip. We're entering an era in which our enemies can make it look like anyone is saying anything at any point in time, even if they would never say those things. Moving forward, we need to be more vigilant with what we trust from the internet. That's a time when we need to rely on trusted news sources. So if you haven't seen that before, it's pretty alarming, right? You actually can see that the, the former president of the United States clearly saying things, it sounds like him, it looks like him, and how do you know that that's not true, right? Imagine that this, a deep fake video comes out like this a day or two before the election, right? This, this can actually have pretty significant effects on our democracy. Um, this is why we need kids to be aware of this. These, this is the next generation of kids that are growing up. Uh, as educators, it's our job to help them along. Um, and so as editor-in-chief of Newsomatic, of course, which is also powered by, Maya News powered by Newsomatic, uh, I want to talk a little bit about the ways that, that I tr I'm working to get these kids to be aware. So we, we just had April Fool's Day, and this was our top story. Okay, We actually gamified it. This is our April Fool's fake news quiz, all right? Um, it was just another opportunity to talk about media literacy, making sure that students understand this is a crisis. And this isn't just a simple one-off story that we're going to do once and then move on with the regular news. We actually want our readers to understand this is ongoing, to continue to drill these skills. Um, and so in this case, we turned it into a game, right? We actually gave kids a handful of news stories. Some were fabricated, some were real, and we asked them to use their, their media literacy skills um, to test themselves, to see with their ability. Of course, we were very upfront that some of these were fake and some were, some were not. Um, and we're going to continue to do more and more stories about this. In fact, a quick search on the Mayan News archives shows more than 30 stories about, about fake news, whether it's a fake news quiz, whether it's um, history of fake news, whether it's other countries that are taking different approaches to solving it. And of course, there's the report. You can see the bar graph that we created for, uh, for this article um, showing how fake news is spreading.